Today I'm presenting a project I built that will take a GoPro camera and marry it to a wireless remote so that you can turn the camera off or on and uh, it'll start recording, taking pictures or videos as you wish using a little microprocessor called uh, this thing here called an EZ430 by Texas Instruments. Uh, I'm ba basically doing this presentation for my Fournier friends, but I think there's a lot of use for this uh, everywhere where people like to take pictures. Uh, basically what we have here is we have the GoPro camera. Uh, two wires come off of a plug in the back, even though there's a number of wires back there which are all part of my breadboarding business here. Uh, there's one, two, three, four discrete parts. Uh, five including the uh, MSP430 microprocessor. Then there's this luggage locator which is the wireless which I'm using for the wireless remote and then this is the control module that you use to trigger it. Uh, basically you press the button, the wireless remote triggers the camera, the GoPro turns on and it's set to the instant on record setting. In this case it's recording video. You can have it record a take a picture or a set a series of pictures in quick succession. Uh, you can also modify the software on this so that it is set to take a picture every so many seconds uh, indefinitely I suppose. Uh, and, and you can also uh, have it record a, a set of pictures every so many minutes. Uh, so it's there's a, quite a few combinations just by changing a few parameters in the software that controls this ME, MSP430. Uh, this MSP430 is from Texas Instruments. It was about ten dollars I think or maybe fifteen. And uh, I also bought, it comes with one of these boards. Uh, this is the F2012 board that I bought and you get a package of three for ten dollars. So they're about three and a half dollars each and uh, basically this thing will continue to record for my uh, use. I'm going to be using it in an aircraft for recording video and the wire setup is too cumbersome so it's better just have a wireless remote and it'll continue to take video as it is now or it has been until I press the button again to turn it off and again the remote triggers and it turns off the camera. So it's uh, I think this uh, luggage locator costs about uh, maybe ten dollars as well or a little less from eBay and uh, there you have it so it's a very handy thing uh, inexpensive way to use your GoPro uh, one caveat is that the GoPro I'm using is using uh, uh, the version of firmware that allowed you to turn the camera on and it would instantly start taking pictures or recording video I think in the latest versions they removed that feature so uh, you might have to flash some older firmware onto your GoPro for this to work, but uh, I'm going to leave mine at this because it works perfectly. Okay, thanks.